once you become like one of these little ones, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So what was Jesus, what is it about you in your lives right now, as you play, as you share, as you think, as you relate with your parents and other adults, what is it about how you do that that would make Jesus say or remind him that this is what we as adults need to be like in order to enter the life. I think because of how fun and playful they are and how few worries they have about everything else that's happening. So, no judgment about what's happening and an acceptance of the whole group and an ability to be lighthearted and play and oh, whose son are you? <laughs> so, yeah, other things, Siobhan, Frankie, any, anything? What is it about how you live your lives each day? Like this morning when you got up. Oh, you were cold. Okay. Well, <laughs> but when you started moving around with your friends and other people, can you identify or think of things that are unique or or specific to you? That what is what makes Siobhan Siobhan or Frankie Frankie or Esther Esther? Or, I'm sorry, I don't know your first name. Abigail, what what makes you who you? No, oh, that's a little. Well, do you depend on your mom and dad for things, Siobhan? Sometimes, <laughs> like, do you depend on them um, for something to be in the refrigerator when you're hungry? Do you depend on them to have the furnace running right when it's winter and it's cold and you want to be in a warm bed? Okay. All right. Do you think Jesus might have been speaking something about that? That maybe children, as I see them with their parents moving around Galilee there, that they certainly are dependent on their parents for an awful lot of things. You think that might be some of it? I think you're right. Something to do with depending on God. Anyone else want to take a stab at this? Humility and disponibility that goes with it is typical of children. You don't see it all that often among adults. Excellent point, yeah. Frank? Well, given the context uh, of the disciples trying to figure out who's the greatest, uh, Jesus laying out the hierarchy of conversion and uh, being like children might have a lot to do with social status or lack of it. Right. Yeah, because. As you shared before, and uh, they had none at that time. Yeah, Kevin. It's one of the conversations we had yesterday about nonviolent communication was expressing need, and children do a very good job of expressing their needs, uh, especially when they're this young, uh, and you have to try to figure it out. And they're relying on it's that it is that dependence and going to. And, and you know, expressing that need and relying on and, and just hold every part of you know her being is relying on others and relying on God to to provide and to uh, you know to, nothing else is provided without that. We don't know from the passage when Jesus took the little child, and I don't even recall the Greek of what that includes, but there's some memory that perhaps it was the infant. And the utter dependency, utter. <laughs> the baby, the child, to suckle of the breast, without that would die. And, and so that relationship, that close, and, and in Scripture there, there are other references to the 